Today I'm going to be talking about how to grow a large type of radish. It's called a Japanese daikon. And then I'm going to show you how to freeze it. And I'm also going to show you how to cook it for a great meal. I want this to be a start to finish video, but I'm going to move through the growing part pretty rapidly. And you can look at some of my other videos for the details on how to do that. So this is our bed of daikon, and it's ready to harvest. You'll notice a black plastic mesh. Okay, that's called bird netting. It's three-quarter inch squares, and it keeps the cabbage worm moth from laying eggs on the daikon greens. So here looks like it's a pretty good one, so let's pull it. I'm going to pull two, so this looks like a good one here, so we'll take it. Now I'm going to clean them up, uh, slice it, and have a bite of this fresh daikon. I like to drizzle it with just a little bit of soy salts. Mmm, that's so good. Mm. I mean, it's really good. It's sweet or bitter. It's not really hot, it's just good. Mm. Now, let's clean the tops up so we can cook them. And we do that by stripping all the leaves off the main stem. Now I'm going to soak the leaves a little while just to remove any, any uh, dirt that might still be on them. Now I have a large pot of boiling water. I've placed all the leaves in there and I have blanched it for two minutes. I'm going to freeze these greens so blanching will kill the enzymes and therefore help them to stay good longer in the freezer. Now I'm going to place the blanched daikon tops into the ice water to cool them down and stop the cooking process. Now I'm going to grab a handful of the daikon tops and squeeze most of the water out of them. So here's my freezer bag. I've marked it with today's date and what's going in the bag, and the quantity. I will, as best I can, uh, spread that greens around inside that bag so that it will kind of lay flat in the freezer. Now I'm ready to seal the bag and pull the uh, excess air out of it. Place the vacuum pump on that little circle area and begin pulling the handle and you'll watch the bag compress as we pull the air out of it. And that's all there is to freezing daikon tops or any greens.
Yes, I'm going to use pork fat that I rendered out of a roast. I'm going to use maybe two teaspoons of pork fat to this uh, one cup of uh, daikon top greens. All right, so now we got the skillet hot. Let's add our daikon tops. Now let's add some pieces of uh, pork roast. Now I have added about a quarter cup of chicken stock to give it a little liquid. So now, here we are. We're about ready to eat. So here I've baked some cornbread sticks in my old cast iron uh, cornbread cooker. This is cultured butter from organic milk from grass-fed cows, and it's good for you. Now let's prepare our plate. So we've got our cornbread, we've got a deviled egg, we've got a big green onion from the garden, we've got some sliced daikon, and then we've got the daikon tops and pork as our main uh, part of our dish. My message here is don't throw away the radish tops that you have from your garden because they're really good for you. I sure wish you could sit down with me and have this meal because it is so delicious. Be sure to look at the end screen uh, videos that I have listed at the end of this video.